The Milky Way galaxy is home to many strange things. For example, take a look at the almost 1,000 filaments or strands discovered in the Milky Way's core only late last year. Some of them are over 150 light years in length. And just recently, scientists announced the discovery of yet another mysterious object, this time looking more like a star, but still unlike anything else they'd ever seen. One minute on, 18 minutes off, and then back on. That's how long it stays on. Neither a pulsar nor a supernova can be seen in its blinks. What in the universe could this strange blinking star be? Is this some sort of message from aliens, or is it a message from the realms beyond our comprehension? Stay tuned as we discuss our galaxy's odd blinking star. Transients are the term used by astronomers to describe events like these. This one is located in the constellation Norma, which may be seen from the southern hemisphere. It emits a beam of radio waves that travel three times an hour across Earth, making it one of the most prominent radio emitters in our night sky. Astronomers call these slow transients when stars die. They occur for a few days, then fade away after several months. Slow transients include, but are not limited to, supernovae. The death of other stars causes fast transients. We can also view pulsars, which are neutron stars, flashing on and off in our night sky. On the other hand, pulsars flash in a matter of milliseconds or even seconds. As a result, you may see that this new object's up and down brightness cycle is somewhere in the middle of slow and quick. The new object has a blinking timescale of minutes rather than days or seconds, and that's a first. Inquiring minds want to know, what is this object? Everything in space is spinning, so we may safely assume that this new object is rotating in space with some form of beam visible to us in radio waves as it sweeps across Earth. The astronomers believe this object spins on a minute-by-minute -minute timescale. But why? This is the first time a celestial structure of this magnitude has ever been observed in the universe. It has been given the name Gleam X J1627595-5235050. Let's call it Gleam for short. It was discovered during astronomers' radio wave study of the Milky Way. These researchers are part of the International Center for Radio Astronomy Research, ICRAR. According to researchers, after a 60-second burst of brightness, Gleam faded back into the night sky. The object reappeared about 20 minutes later, steadily lighting to its peak brightness before dimming back to nothing. Transients can be either a dying star, a supernova, or the weird corpse of a dead star, a neutron star, both of which are examples of fast-rotating corpses. However, neither of those unusual theories entirely fit with the behavior of this newly discovered item. A new form of star object may be revealed by the enigmatic gleam, which has only been postulated about up to this point or one that scientists haven't ever imagined. There are two basic types of transients. It is possible to see slow transients arise for a few days and then disappear for months. These include supernovas, which burst into flames as dying stars release their outer atmospheres in cataclysmic explosions, then fade as the stellar remnants cool down. Then there are the fast transients, which flash on and off every few milliseconds. Neutron stars such as pulsars, which rotate rapidly while emitting strong radio emissions, are examples of these objects. While using the Murchison Wide Field Array MWA, radio telescope in the Australian outback to explore transients like these, the researchers discovered Gleam. Gleam's one-minute-long brightening pattern defies explanation since the on-off blinking is too quick to be a supernova and too slow to be a pulsar. It was determined that the object was a million times brighter than the Sun, but smaller in diameter. This also applied to Gleam's radio broadcast. Because their light waves only oscillate on one plane, this suggests that an incredibly intense magnetic field created them. The ultra-long period magnetar is a type of theoretical object that is essentially a highly magnetized neutron star that rotates incredibly slowly. These characteristics match this theoretical object. 
This unusual object class was expected to exist, but no one has ever seen one in space. Nobody expected to directly detect one like this because we didn't expect them to be so bright, Hurley Walker, one of the researchers, explained. Somehow it's converting magnetic energy to radio waves much more effectively than anything we've seen before, said the researcher. They suggested that there could be alternative explanations for the enigmatic gleam phenomenon too. As a rare white dwarf star, it may be capable of emitting radio waves by drawing in material from its binary companion star, which is a shriveled husk of an extinct sun that was too small to collapse into a neutron star. It might look like gleam if the star rotated at the appropriate speed. More studies in other parts of the electromagnetic spectrum are required to get to the bottom of this riddle. Gleam's discovery has prompted experts to check through MWA archives to determine whether any other similar objects have been spotted. Similarly, astronomers were baffled by the mysterious behavior of a star last year that dimmed, nearly disappeared, then returned to its normal brightness. Even though other stars have been known to have dips in brightness, none was as striking or long-lasting as the blinking star, leading to a conjecture that it was an entirely new type of phenomenon. VVV, a study employing infrared light to look at roughly 1 billion stars in Chile's Atacama Desert using the Vista telescope atop Cerro Paranal Mountain, discovered the enigmatic object. When the surveyors looked through the data, they noticed that a single star dimmed by 97% before regaining its brightness after about six months. The brightness of some stars, known as Cepheid variables, varies on a regular basis, but astronomers only observed the object dimming once during the survey. There has been a decline since the poll began in 2010, and it was in 2012. Every 27 years, a huge dust disk partially obscures Epsilon Augeri, but it only dims the star by half its original brilliance. If WIT had a companion star orbiting it, telescopes would have picked up light from that companion star, because the dip in brightness was long-lasting. It also appeared to be really thick, almost as impenetrable to light as a solid object, causing the loss of light. We don't know why this is happening. There are a lot of options, but none of them quite fit the situation. There is a potential that a random item flew in front of the star. Still, analysts believe this is highly implausible due to the exceedingly low possibilities of such a coincidence occurring. In addition to this, the wit has natural dips like Cepheids do, although no Cepheid has ever fluctuated to such an extreme extent. According to current thinking, the star's light is being obstructed by a large dusty disk of material that orbits around it and occasionally passes in front of it. An event similar to this occurred not so long ago when a famous star known as Betelgeuse faded in brightness, which a huge cloud of dust may have caused. In the event, Wit is surrounded by a dust disk. It could either be circling an object of similar mass or it could be orbiting an object of greater mass. X-ray observations are an excellent way to see if the region is emitting any brilliant X-rays, which are characteristic of black holes. Astronomers may be able to catch another dip in the future because the object is in orbit. Although data from the dip suggests that the two companions would be at least 20 times the distance between Earth and the Sun, meaning that the obscuring monster may take hundreds of years to pass in front of the star again. According to an astronomer at Louisiana State University in Baton Rouge who was not involved in the research, the concept that there is a companion with a thick disk is probably the most complete description that can fit the data. There is still need for further investigation, she said. She remarked on the fact that the team's final sentence ended with an exclamation point. Using an exclamation mark at the end of your report is a clear indication that you need to do additional work, she added. The astronomer's data only revealed the mysterious item for three months before it completely disappeared. While they wait for it to return, scientists are on the lookout for more like it. It will take more observations to determine if this is a one-off occurrence or the beginning of a new galaxy. The Square Kilometer Array SKA radio telescope is expected to be operational within the next decade. 
As the world's most powerful radio telescope, it will be capable of shedding light on some of the most mysterious objects in the cosmos. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind-blowing videos about space.